Is he with you? You with her? Oh. I'm, just, I'm just checking out what's going on. Oh, keep walking by, please. It's all right. I can't believe you work for the state, bro. What do you think the police are going to do when they get here? I have no idea. Do you think that they're going to help you violate our civil rights? If I have to, I'll press charges personally. What for? Just for you. Just because of you. Just me? It's just the charge of being me? Yeah, how's yeah. that sound? It sounds totally unethical. Well, well, Deputy Salter, Shoreline Police and the Sheriff's Office. What's your name? So you guys are trespassing on their property? Is that what's going on? Their property? Yeah. Well, why would somebody care about what's going on here today? I just told you. Just, I'm curious. You asked me if I needed help. I told you what I needed you to do, and you're not doing it. Why did you allow this to happen today, man? <laughs> because it turns out this... The Constitution and civil rights apply here. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you there. What you're about to see is raw footage I recorded at the Washington State Department of Health while providing backup to a new female channel called Record America. By the time I got on scene, the police were about to arrive and health department employees had already followed, lied, and conspired to deprive Record America of her constitutional rights for over 20 minutes. Check out her channel to see all that. Link is in the description. This video shows these same state employees following me and being aggressive, in addition to threatening me with jail for the crime of just being me. The first officer to arrive engages in unlawful, unethical conduct and gets owned followed by another officer and a sheriff's deputy who defend our civil rights, enforce the law, and educate unethical state workers. Subscribe to Record America, and thank you for watching Cameras Everywhere. I hope everyone had a beautiful 4th of July. Peace. This is the Washington State Department, Department of Health. Department of Health. This is state property, Your Honor. Right. Yep, it sure is, isn't it? So you are together. Can I get your name? Could you? You don't want me to provide me your name? For what purpose? Curiosity. But we just have to be careful. I mean, that's all. What's I, your name? I mean. Excuse me? Hello? I asked what your name is, but if you're going to take video, I'm going to take video too. All right. So, <clears throat> do that? Yeah. I want to get your face too. I can't believe you work for the state, bro. I can't believe you're doing this. Whose rights am I violating? You're violating my rights. How? You're violating my rights. How? By vi videoing me. By vi videoing me. So. Walk away, man, if you don't want to be on tape. Hey. Are you guys together? You seem like you're working pretty much together. Do you see the interaction I just had you with this two. guy? You two. Me and her? Yeah. You are. I'm assuming. What are we working together to do? We don't know. We're gonna, that's why we're going to have the police sort it out. Well, let me clarify it for you, okay? Yeah. We have written permission to be here. From who? From the government, from the Washington State Department of Health. So you... That's right. We have written permission, written, we have it with us to be here from the Washington State Department of Health. That's interesting. Yep. Why? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think the police are going to do when they get here? I have no idea. Do you think that they're going to help you violate our civil rights? Coward, bro. Hey, sir, can you please help us, man? Watch your step. I might trip on one of these. He's a 
for some reason. <clears throat> Dude, you're so inauthentic, it's disgusting, bro. You're so inauthentic. You're so good to spend the night in jail. What for? <laughs> annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the night in jail for annoying. Oh my goodness. The Washington State Department of Health is gonna put me in jail for being annoying. No, if I have to, I'll press charges first. What for? Just for you. Just because of you. Just me? It's just the charge of being me? Yeah, how's yeah. that sound? What do you got in your pocket there? It sounds totally unethical, bro. Is that a radio? It sounds totally unethical. Well, well, you won't give me your name. I gave you my name. I'll, I'll give you a hint. No, I don't need a hint. No, not a hint about my name. My just hint, a, my just a hint in, in general. Pocket. I'm not. I'm, I'm not just trying to keep you. space, man, because you seem like you're... I'm not threatening. I'm asking I... you, what's your name? Okay. What are you up to? Well, what we're doing is we're doing a documentary here Good. about this place. If you should have called and we could have got a tour. Great. We already did call. I already told that guy. We called. We have written permission we, from the, the Washington guy? State Department of Health. Yes, I've already told him that. But Where you guys it? refuse to listen. No it's probably on her. That'd be awesome. Do you think she's going to show it to you after this? <laughs> Go ask her. Maybe if you're real nice, she'll show it to you. you make it a whole lot nicer. But Maybe you, you can go over there and you can ask and she'll show it to you. You're not carrying any weapons on you, are you? You sure? Dude, your name is right on your shirt. Right? I'm asking you if you're carrying any weapons on you. Just curious. Oh, because of this bulge? Yeah, it, yeah it's it, a radio. Oh, okay, you got a radio. Yeah, that's right. Don't worry. I mean, I don't intend any harm. Good. There's no malicious intent. Okay. That's, that's awesome. I just, like I say, I wish you guys, you guys would have set this up right. You mean like called and gotten written permission? No, you don't even need, I don't even know if it's written. I would say if you were. If you it were is called, written, man. It is written. You have to have, really? I don't know if you have to have it, but we have it. Things would have been written down to, to say that you were on the property for a tour. It would have been more than warm and welcome, and you guys want to pull this stunt like this and walk around. And walked around. And look in people's offices and disrupt their daily work. You mean like the windows over there that yeah. you can see from the yeah. walkway? You don't think that's a little disruptive? If I came to your house and stood in front of your house and took pictures of you through the window, you don't think that would be just creepy? I think that would be creepy. That's private yeah. property and it's a residence. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This is public property, and it's the it's a state laboratory. Owned by the state. Right. Okay. Owned by the state. And you're disrupting <laughs> their work by you, when you do that. Let's see. Okay. I think you guys are creating a disturbance. guys are morons. Are the cops on their way? Are the cops on their way, guys? They are? Alright, we'll just hang out and wait for them then. Who do you work for, just out of curiosity? The U.S. Library of Congress. There it is right there. There's the identifying number on the end. Can I take a picture of that? You sure can't, bro. It's Isn't too late it? now. You should have fucking thought about that before. Oh, language. Watch your language. Fuck you, douche. Hey. You can't do <laughs> shit, bro. Really? Are you kidding me? Bro. As a private citizen, I sure Do it. Can. Do it. Hey, hey. No, You're that's so alright. He said they're being threatened. I'll be with you guys in just a second. Go ahead and wait over there for me, okay? No problem. Man.
Deputy Salter from Shoreline Police and the Sheriff's Office. What's your name? No name? I'm scared of you. Why are you scared of me? Because you're walking me down. I'm just coming over to talk with you and have a conversation. Right? I don't want to talk. Okay, well, you're coming here to the facility, right? Inciting to something. Yeah. Right? It's private property. They don't necessarily want you to be here. Correct. Okay. What's your name? Nothing? What is the purpose in being here? Why are you asking me? Because you're the one here. You're the one who's not normally here. Everybody else is normally here. We're only here because we're waiting for you. Okay, how can I help? I'm here. What sort of help are you offering? What do you need? Well, these guys said that we're not allowed to exercise civil rights on public property. Okay. So I think that you're probably bound to protect those rights. Maybe you should inform them otherwise. Okay, what are you guys trying to do? I don't understand. Brandon, come in and do it. Help me out here. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I just told you what I mean. What are we trying to do? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, she might be doing something different than I'm doing, but what I'm doing is I'm creating an objective record for public review. What does that mean? I don't understand. I'm creating an objective record okay. to be reviewed by the public. Mm -hmm. Okay. The record's going to be in here, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put it on another device. Then it's going to go to the internet, mm -hmm. and then the public's going to see what happened on this objective record. Well, why would somebody care about what's going on here today? I just told you. Just, I'm curious. You asked me if I needed help. I told you what I needed you to do, and you're not doing it. No, you haven't told me anything. I have, sir. I've told you what I'm doing. I've told you why. I've okay. told you who I'm doing it for. Mm -hmm. I've told you what these guys have asked us to do. Right. And I've asked you to help us out in enforcing the law. That's what's happened so far. Okay, so you're talking out two sides, so I'm not quite understanding. Can I talk to you? What's your name? Hi, I'd rather don't say my name, but thank you. Okay, I'd rather don't say my name? That's a long name. How can yeah, I help right? you today? Yeah. Oh, I didn't call for help. They did. Yeah, they needed help, not us. I'm okay. Good. So you guys are trespassing on their property? Is that what's going on? Their property? Yeah. Uh, I right, guess. Their I, building? I guess if you think we're trespassing. Okay. Well, that's what they're telling us, is they're telling us that you're trespassing on their property. Do you see right? this stuff that's behind you? The trees and everything? Yeah, the American flag, the Washington State flag, the Washington State Department of Public Health Laboratories, giant sign over there on the wall, mm -hmm. right? All the public access, this is 17th Avenue here, which turns into 162nd over there. Okay. It's a thoroughfare for a neighborhood, mm -hmm. and we're trespassing on their property. No, they said you came up to the windows and were trying to see inside. Me? Yeah, that's no. what they just said. That's a, that's a false report. Sorry about that, though. Okay. That didn't happen. So, do you understand what their concern would be? They told us it's not normal. That's what they were going to call the police. Right. So, the concern is, right, we have the Washington State Health Laboratory here, right? They've had break-ins here. They oh, have yes. sensitive they told things us that. inside. They told correct? Us, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's Washington State Health Lab, right? Okay, everything comes here. Yeah. I, don't know why you guys would necessarily want to be around diseases and that sort of thing that are in there, right? When people break in, it's a concern, correct? Oh, I didn't break in. I never said did you, you did. Did you break in? Yeah, right? No, just saying that I didn't. I don't want to be around that stuff. Yeah. I'm staying outside all the time. Oh, did you see you try to break in? No, not at all. Oh. So, here's why the are you deal, right? That? Just because of why they're concerned. That's their concern. They're concerned that you guys are casing the place so that you're going to come in and try and break in. Which is a valid concern because there have been break-ins, right? Well, and you two, the thing, well, hang on, listen to me. I'm talking. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Will you listen to me? I, I, so I can explain the reason for my I, presence? I will listen to you. Okay. They are concerned that you guys are casing the place, right? Trying to find lapses in their security so that you mm. can exploit them later and break into the building. I don't know who you guys are, right? You don't want to identify yourselves. I don't know what your record is. I don't know if you're scouting this out for terrorist organizations, mm -hmm. right? That is something this day and age that can happen, correct? Right? I, I think so. Yeah, I think so too. How about you? Do you think so? I, I, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So would it be reasonable to assume when somebody walks up to a window and starts filming the interior of a building, right, that is the Washington State Health Lab, where we can all agree, right, they've got nasty stuff inside, right, that we don't want getting out, that it would be of concern. Yeah. Does that not seem reasonable? It does, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. Seems reasonable to me as well. The thing is, is that these guys came out because they were concerned about what you just said. Mm -hmm. 
and we told them what was going on mm -hmm. and we even told them we have written permission to be here from the from the Washington State Department of Health I asked them if they want to see it they just didn't give a fuck cool I'd love to see it oh we're not going to show you it too. so you have it but you don't want to show it is that a made up thing what do you think I think you're making it up because you don't want to produce it a reasonable person would produce documents when requested, especially when they just offered. Like you just offered. Do you want to produce no, the documents? Offered it to them. We offered it to well, them. You yeah. Know that. I was saying I was offering it to them, but they didn't care. Oh, okay. I care. I'm here because I care. Yeah. So we need written permission to be right here. I didn't say that. Oh, so I'm required to produce the permission? No, I'm just asking if you wanted to show it to me. Do you want to show? You said them? that you had it. I don't think you should. Okay, so I'm not. I mean, you don't need to. No, I'm good. Huh. So I do under. I just want to get this guy's ID. Sure. 1238? Yep. Thank you. I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, I don't know. This guy wants to see the permission. She doesn't want to show it. I don't think she should. There's no reason to, right? Because we don't need written permission yeah, to be right here. This is the sidewalk. So. Right. Yeah. This is the sidewalk. And is this a thoroughfare? Because this connects to a neighborhood down this no, road. No, that's private over there. That's a, um, that's a... Forkrest. Forkrest School. So it's private so oh i don't know if this is a an access but because it, these curves are yellow i don't know oh, i'd have to research it but right honestly now, the truth is is that we came out here we did exactly what you were saying i wasn't even going to start filming but these guys are following her all around mm -hmm. you know what i mean i'm like i'm like harassing her and telling her that she needs to leave it she can't be here with the camera with civil okay. rights don't apply on state um, property and i'm just like let, what let me hear fuck? their side of the story so okay. i'm gonna chat with them and find out it's so, on video so cool so yeah, civil rights absolutely apply everywhere, right? I'm assuming that their concern is because of the things that they have here and the history that's happened here, right? That's what they said. And they don't have people coming to film here. Nobody ever comes to film here. Right. So it generates interest and concern on their behalf, right? Which is, to, which is why we tried to dispel it immediately. <laughs> okay. Well, right, there's what's going on. There's always three sides to every time I come out, right? There's what you say happened. There's what they say happened. And then somewhere in the middle is what actually happened. And that's what I want to try and figure out. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Right there. That's cameras don't necessarily tell 100% of the truth all the time, right? Just because something may be recorded doesn't mean that it encompasses everything, right? Well, oftentimes it, when it you see things, everything's edited, it's cut up, and it's going to show one side that the person that's recording wants to show, right? I I totally it's the same agree, as but in a film, but in this case, she's she's making an uncut record. Okay. Right? From from before we came on the property to this moment. Yes, but even a narrow lens like that, that won't capture everything, right? This is not a narrow lens. It's 10 millimeters. It's one of the widest possible lenses. Okay. But it's not going to show 360 degrees, right? It's not not unless she everything. turns 360 degrees like that. Right. But it's not going to film it in entirely, right? Continuously? Well, not unless she films it continuously and entirely. Okay. It's a camera, so it creates an objective record uh, of whatever I, it faces. Okay whatever it faces and whatever the author wants it to see, right? Well, I mean, are you talking about editing? Well, editing, right? And you can show certain angles, you can show things a certain way, you can frame it to be a certain way. I'm just yeah. saying okay. that a camera, a recorded record isn't necessarily what actually happened. True, okay. right? We can agree on that? Uh, I think a camera is a good tool to, to find out what really actually happened. Okay. You're not wearing a camera. No, we don't have cameras. Wow. Absolutely not. Um, so, let me ask you this then, like we talked about before, right? I'm assuming the reason that they came out, and again, we'll talk to them and find out, right? Because they don't have people that come out here. Mm -hmm. And now they have two people coming out filming. They don't know the reason. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe you don't think this way. I think it's reasonable when they're responsible for things that they have inside, such as they have, mm -hmm. and people are filming their building, that it's responsible for them and it's reasonable for them to see what's going on and why. I agree. Right? That's called due, due diligence. Yeah. They're just doing their due diligence. That's right. all. That's right. all. I haven't told you to leave. We haven't told you to leave. I noticed that. So we just want to sort everything out. That's all. I don't want to impede your constitutional well, hey, rights. Man, I the, want you to be able to do what you I want to do. The thing I told you when you first got here, mm -hmm. that's, all, that's all you need to know, you know, is that we're here engaged in constitutionally protected activity and these guys are trying to stop that. So I think you're probably oath and law bound to stop that from happening. Well, if... Not to mention we have written permission to be here. Okay. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't... Okay, so we're pretty much done. Yeah. Hopefully uh, you guys can stay. We're not saying that you guys got to stay or go, but... Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the right thing to do. Oh. All right, you guys take care. All right. All right. See ya. Thanks, you guys. Good luck, guys. Thanks.
Hey, excuse me, sir. What's the name of the director of this facility? The name of the director? The, yeah, that's, well, I am one of the directors. No, you're not. Yes, I am. She's got my card. You take a look at that. I gave her my card. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she's got it. She's got all the information you need. She used that. Why did you allow this to happen today, man? <laughs> because it turns out this. The Constitution and civil rights apply here. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you there. See you, Black and White.